who is the Sultan of Sulu? That's a question everyone's asking since the supposed heir of the Sultanate, Jamalul Kiram, sent his followers to reclaim the state of Sabah. But the answer to this question is not that simple. Andres Lindholm works for one of the many claimants to the throne of the Sulu Sultanate. All together in Sultan of Sulu at the moment there are almost 60 people who claim to be Sultan of Sulu. And only few people, including the Yamalul Kiram, the I would say they have a they have a they have a reasonable claim to be Sultan of Sulu, but uh, we still consider them as a self self claim. Historian Farish Noor says the problem dates back to the 1800s. Now the problem is um, with such a long uh, no, a space of, of 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 time that had passed between the the end of the Kingdom of Sulu in 1862 and the situation that we had in the 60s. Um, uh, basically, the, the Sulu royal family um, has been dispersed and, and, and disintegrated. And so that explains why there are so many people claiming to be the, the Sultan of Sulu. Ampun Medzol Lyle Tan Kiram is one claimant who disagrees with what's happening in Sabah. I think uh, they want uh, to show to all the people that they are the legitimate uh, sultan, queen sultan. But the fact is, they are not. Because uh, there's only one sultan in Sulu, and that is me. While Tan Kiram believes Sabah is rightfully his, he does not condone the method deployed by his estranged uncle to reclaim the state. We are against any violent action and uh, Ampun Kiram, Sultan of Solo and any of his officials has nothing to do with the ongoing incident at the moment, what is happening in uh, Sabah State, Malaysia. So he's a, I understand that he's against um, the way they are handling the situation? Uh, he's against, uh, he, yes, he's against uh, the way at the moment the situation has been handled because uh, Going to other countries' territory where people are, we don't think so. It is a good idea. Then Home believes more claimants are now on their way to Sabah. So why do you think the people, um, the followers of um, Sultan Jamalul Kiram, have suddenly, uh, you know, reignited this whole um, debate about who owns this operation? This operation, we call it operation. This operation uh, was uh, planned earlier last year in November, December, approximately. And uh, the idea was to bring uh, media attention to the issue, to the problem. And at the moment, what, what I'm afraid, in my personal opinion, is that because now this uh, small incident has become a uh, very big interest to the international media, and therefore now I believe that not only Yamal al Kiram group but some other groups as well from Solo might try to do similar things to come also to the Sabah because I have, uh, I have uh, information that there are some other people as well, not coming from, from, from Solo as a Solo archipelago, but they are flying in via, via actually Malaysia, via Kuala Lumpur, are coming as well to the Sabah. And they are also from of, of Solo descent? Uh, well, yes, they, they are, but... Uh, for those people who are planning to come, I I don't have no opinion. I don't think so. That I mean, in my opinion, they are not. Uh, they have no claim at all. Only time will tell. Samisha Naidu, Kini TV.